MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Adrian, this is a great example of uh, somebody utilising Open Minds Hypermill, a more simple component. Absolutely. I mean, Hypermill, I guess, probably is known for five axis, especially in the UK. Um, but it's very important to know that you know we also do start from 2D, 3-axis, and, and a lot of our customers started in the 3-axis marketplace and then bought a 5-axis machine till later on. And then when they've had the Hyper Mill with 2 or 3-axis, they can upgrade it to the 5-axis module? Absolutely. It's, um, it's a very simple process. Um, everything is installed on your machine in installation in, 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 in when we start with the, with the product. Um, it's just a question of when you're ready for 5-axis, just speak to us and we can turn functions on to enable you to do that. But the benefits of, of using Hypermill on three axis machining, is it quicker to program offline than online? It's still quicker to machine offline, uh, certainly. We're, we're able to do more analyzing on the stock conditions of the, uh, of the part, so we know where we've been roughing and so we can trim tool paths back to the absolute minimum so there's no, um, there's no air cutting. So it's about optimization as well then, it's about making sure that you get the best or you machine the components in the quickest cycle times and less tool wear. Absolutely. I mean, if your part is, if your part or your tooling is uh, cutting air, it's not going to make you money. Yeah, so if you're an engineer and you're looking to really make sure you get the best out of your machine, do your programming offline using Hypermill into the machine and then you can be assured you're getting the best solution. Yeah, we, we believe so. Certainly to prove it offline, brings immense benefits when you come to actually running on a machine tool. So of course these controls do have a lot of functionality, but if you want to fully test the process in, in a virtual environment, you can do and then bring it straight to the machine tool. Because the message that's coming out loud and clear here is that actually, although I might think that a hypermill is about five axis machining, it's not, is it? I mean, what, what is the split between people using it for just three axis to five axis? That's, the, that's a very good question and, and really it's, um, although we do have a, a high proportion of our customers using it in 5-axis, they started in, in 2D or 3-axis components. So even when you go to a, a lot of shops, um, there's a mixture of 3-axis machines, uh, old machines and of course modern brand new 5-axis machines also. And if somebody, if again an, an engineer might think, well I, I don't need that, you know, it's going to cost me X amount, why do I need to spend that? There's lots of hidden benefits potentially that they could get even if they're doing the simplest parts. Absolutely. I mean, if anybody has a, a nice scrap bench or something in their in their shop, I, I think I certainly believe that their uh, scrap will be uh, greatly reduced using Hypermill. Brilliant, Adrian. Thanks for your time. No problem. Thank you. For more videos, products, and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.